Lately, Nusra Jahan, Tollywood actress turned member of parliament from Bengal, has disputed her marriage with Nikhil Jain, claiming that their marriage is void because none of them converted their religion to Islam or Jainism, hence they don't require a divorce to get separate. So how legally sound this claim of her is? Well guys, it is a correct stand of law if what she's saying is factually correct, but for that first understand how their marriage is invalid. Viewers, in India, there are only two acts that govern the marriages throughout this country. First of which is Hindu Marriage Act 1955 and the other is Special Marriage Act 1954. Further, you must know that Hindu Marriage Act is not a secular law, hence it only applies to Hindus of our country. But what if the couple wants to have inter-religion marriage and which we call as interfaith marriage? How will they get it done without converting to any other religion? Guys, for that reason only, this special marriage act has been enacted by the parliament, under which couple practicing different religion can marry as well. And the most significant part is, none of them have to convert their religion for that. I'll illustrate it for you to make it slightly more clear. Take for example, a Hindu guy and a Muslim girl want to marry and also do not want to convert themselves to others' religion. Then, in that case, they have to apply under the Special Marriage Act and after registration, their marriage will become completely legal and valid. Now, if you are thinking what will be the religion of the child born out of the wedlock, as both the parents practice separate religion, then you must know that religion of that child will depend upon his upbringing. For instance, if he is brought up as a Hindu and has been made to follow Hindu customs and rituals since birth by his parents, then he will be considered a Hindu and vice versa. Our ex-Prime Minister late Indira Gandhi had also got married under this act as her husband Firoz Gandhi was a Muslim. Hence, being an interfaith marriage, they had to marry under this act. Now guys, coming to the issue in hand, Nusra Jahan has claimed that as neither of them converted to either Islam or Jainism, and had performed their marriage according to Turkey customs, completely overlooking Special Marriage Act. Now, as their marriage is unregistered under the Special Marriage Act, neither they converted their religion to validate the customs. Therefore, their marriage is void under the law, and it will be treated as this relation never subsisted and the couple is still single. So, in the light of this review, Nusra Jahan's claim is categorically right to my legal mind and you can also consider her as unmarried. This is a legal companion signing off until we meet again.